want you to think about how we convert from a degrees Celsius measurement to a degrees Fahrenheit measurement. So there are lots of online tools to do this, uh, but to think about what specific values you need to multiply and add by to get a degrees Celsius measurement to a degrees Fahrenheit measurement. And so our independent variable here is gonna be degrees Celsius and our dependent variable degrees in Fahrenheit. And so I've got some sample data here uh, to look at. Uh, and so what I have here is a little table on the left looking at degrees Celsius and the corresponding temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So we know when it's zero degrees Celsius, it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So I plotted all those values here in the graph. Degrees Celsius, the independent variable is on the x-axis, degrees Fahrenheit is on the y-axis. And so through this simple approach, uh, we're gonna find out how to find uh, the parameters that are associated with this line so that we know when we type into our online search tool what the degrees Fahrenheit is based on the degrees Celsius. And so let's do some math to figure out uh, how we might describe that line. And so I'm gonna uh, propose that we use uh, two values. Uh, and so let's say we're gonna find what we'll call beta zero and beta one. Beta zero and beta one are going to describe uh, the line that shows the relationship between X and Y or between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. And just like you may have learned in your uh, middle school algebra, uh, Y equals MX plus B. Uh, and that describes the slope and the shape of a line. Uh, we're gonna use some different notation. Uh, we're gonna say Y equals beta zero plus beta one times X or beta one here equals m that you may have learned in middle school algebra and beta zero equals lowercase b uh, that you may have learned in middle school algebra. And so what then we can say is, uh, what about when we plug in values? So we can say when x is zero, y is 32. And so we can plug those values into our formula. So then 32 is going to equal beta zero plus beta one times zero. When x is zero, y is 32. And so then we can say that uh, simply beta zero equals 32. So we've got one value here uh, that can describe our, our line. What about uh, when x equals 10, we know that y equals 50. So when it's 10 degrees Celsius, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we can plug these values into the equation. Here, 50 would equal 32 plus beta one times 10. Then we can rearrange and we get 18 equals beta one times 10. And then we can find beta one equals 18 divided by 10, or that equals 1.8. So now we're getting somewhere. Now we've got the two numbers that can help to describe our line. So we can say, so uh, degrees Fahrenheit is gonna equal 32, our value for beta zero, plus 1.8, our value for beta one, times degrees Celsius. And so this is how we convert from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And oftentimes uh, you'll see some programs will actually write that on the line. And so we could say uh, this line is degrees Fahrenheit equals 32 plus 1.8 times degrees Celsius. So that would describe the shape of that line. And we'll talk more about what we talk about when we talk about the y-intercept and the slope of that line as we talk more about regression.